Hi YouTube, today we're going to be looking at my personal defense weapon. This is a Wilson Combat AR pistol and we're going to go over all the, all the features I have on it and why I chose to set it up this way. So before we go any further, I'm going to show everybody this weapon is safe and no, everybody is safe. There is nothing in it. It is clear. Okay. This is a Wilson Combat 7.5 inch AR pistol. And it's chambered in 5.56 NATO. And I'll show you a few of the roll marks on it. First, Wilson Combat. Wilson Combat. It carries Wilson Combat magazines in it. The other side, quilts and combat, roll marks, it says 5.56 NATO on it, just in case you didn't know. Alright, so let's go over a couple things about this. This is, this is my setup, this is why I have this thing set up the way I have it set up. <clears throat> okay, to start off with, this is a 7.5 inch AR pistol. I ordered this i called wilts combat up and said i was interested in a short ar and they do not sell a complete seven and a half inch ar pistol and i've done a lot of business with them before and what they said they could do is they could build me custom build me an upper and just send it to me so what i did is i ordered the upper from wilts combat and then I bought a Wilson Combat lower receiver and a Wilson Combat parts kit and everything. And I put assembled the lower myself. So everything on this thing is Wilson Combat except for a couple things. And I'll go over those couple things here in a second. So what I chose to do is a lot of people look down upon these but I use a SIG Romeo 5 optic it's a very inexpensive and very effective optic these things feature what they call the MOTEC system in it and the battery will last essentially about five years in these things and you just leave it on whatever strength level you want to leave it on all the time 24 7 and whenever you pick this thing up it's ready to go. It automatically turns itself on. When it sits dormant, it automatically shuts off. And I like that. There's no fumbling around, having to get ready for how to turn the switch on or anything like that. It's already on. And basically, I change the battery in it once a year just to be safe. But the battery will last five years. So it's just got a regular M-lock rail on it. I have just a regular A2 flash hider because that's a really short flash hider on the front. I'm, this this thing's built for size. It's very compact on it. And what I have here, I have a magnetic sling detachment on it. So basically, you just when you grab for this weapon, you just pull this and the sling just releases just like that. And you're ready. You're ready to deploy the weapon any way you want. And it works absolutely fantastic. It's it's probably one of the best things I've ever seen. That little magnetic thing is very cheap and it's very very easy to operate. Now, what I have on the back here is it's it's got a regular buffer tube, regular carbine style buffer tube. And when I originally got this weapon, the pistol braces were legal, so I had a pistol brace on it. And all the stuff that's going on right now, I had to take the pistol brace off of it. And I got rid of the pistol brace. And just to make sure this thing's legal, because I have to carry this thing around all the time. So it has to be legal. I put this bicycle handlebar thing on it and permanently attached it. It's just a bicycle handlebar cover that you buy on Amazon. And I permanently attached it to there where you could never attach a pistol brace to it. 
They can never say that I, I could, I'm ready to just slide a pistol brace on it. This thing's permanently attached to it, and it's not able to be removed. If it would be a major ordeal if I ever had to take this off and put a pistol brace on it. So I wanted to be sure that this thing was legal. Now, what else I have? I have no sights on it. All it has is um, one optic on it, so they can't say this thing was made just for shouldering. And the sight, the actual optic, I always try and run these things as far forward as you can possibly run them and still be on the um, receiver. That way you can pick up the optic really, really easy. This isn't a precise, precision shooting, thousand yard shouldered rifle. This is an AR pistol. That's what it was meant for. It was meant for personal defense, close quarters, stuff like that. Now, the trigger that I chose to put in this thing, this is a CMC three and a half pound single stage trigger. So it's very, very similar to like uh, a really good crisp handgun trigger. I know some people like single or double stage triggers and all that. I'm not that guy. Not for this. This is my defense weapon and this has to work exactly like a handgun would work. So there's no two stages to it. This is a single stage three and a half pound pull. I don't want it any lighter because I want it to be safe. Now one of the other things that I had at the time that I got this I wanted this thing to be able to fold up. I carry this in a backpack every single day with me. It stays in my car in a backpack. So it has to be pretty compact. So what I did is I got a Sylvan Arms um, folding adapter to go on the buffer tube. Now, when I originally went out on this adventure, I was looking for a Law Tactical because they had the best reputation and just they got all the good reviews and all that well they were not available anywhere you could not find one anywhere and i got lucky and found this i did some research on them the differences that i found in it is this is made out of aluminum which is kind of attractive to me because it's lighter than the law tactical the law tactical is made out of steel so it was available so i bought it it's a little bit cheaper, it's not a lot cheaper, but it's a little bit less expensive than a Law Tactical. Well, I put it on, and I've done extensive training and practicing with this weapon, because this weapon has to um, defend my life. And the hinge started wearing out. Actually, inside here, started wearing on it, like pretty bad. And I contacted them, I was like, this thing won't even stay closed. This is very important, this works. This isn't just a range toy or something to show off on Instagram. I actually use this thing and I need it to work. And you couldn't ask for a better company. They rushed, they overnighted me a replacement and said this is the upgraded one. We've made some changes and try this one out and send this back to the other one when you get receive it because they don't want their name associated with broken stuff. So, I put this one on there. Never had a bit of problems out of it. So, very happy with this company. I would definitely recommend them. I would buy another one if I had a um, setup that required it. Of course, I have the Magpul sling mount on the back of it. Just normal, normal stuff. Now, this is a two-point sling because I... Um, I prefer two-point slings. I've never understood the single sling thing. And um, just every everything about this weapon functions flawlessly. It features the all nickel boron bolt carrier group. It's um, all Wilson Combat parts on the bottom end. It's just Wilson Combat magazines. It's seven and a half inch. I can't remember the twist rate on it. I actually looked into that before I did it, but... This, this weapon has never had one malfunction on it. Never. It's never malfunctioned. It works perfectly. Now, you do pay a little bit more money when you buy Wilson Combat, but Wilson Combat stands behind everything that they have. Usually get what you pay for. 
It's got the Starburst Wilson Combat grip on it. It's got the thing underneath it that you can open up, put batteries in it for your optic or whatever you want to stick in there. I don't have anything in there. This thing gets carried in a backpack, and one day we'll do a video on exactly how I carry this around in a backpack. But I also can fit this inside my motorcycle saddlebag. So when I go riding, I have this thing folded up. And I stick it in the left side saddlebag with an extra magazine in it. I usually carry it with a 30 round magazine in it. And I will show you one day my backpack set up and show you how I carry extra magazines for this. But this, when you carry your handgun, your handgun, my theory is your handgun is to get to this. Once you get to this, you shouldn't have to use your handgun anymore. That's in case things got really bad. Hopefully things will never get really bad. But a lot of people take these ARs and they overthink it. And when I say they overthink it, they put all these flip-up sights and backups and 45-degree mounted things. And I get it for if you were in battle and you have a full-size rifle. This is not a rifle. This is a pistol. This is meant to defend me at close quarters. Anything further than close quarters... I can retreat. I don't have to use it. So that's why we got just the red dot optic on it. They can't say that I have backup sights on it. When I first put it together, when I had the brace on it, I actually had the little lock things put in the um, thing. So the length of pole was perfect. They couldn't say it was a retractable stock. This thing has to be legal because I actually carry this around with me. It has to, it has to remain legal. So I made it 100% legal. It's 100% compliant with every rule, law, whatever you want to, um, whatever you want to classify it as. It's definitely not a law. A law has to go through Congress, and that's a whole nother ball of wax with what the ATF does. But this thing is 100% compliant. Now, the way this thing works is there's a little button on here. You just push the button and it folds. You cannot fire it like that. It's got a little buffer tube extension that goes in the back here. It will not fire like that. So when you pull it out of the bag and you deploy the um, sling, all you do is open this thing up and it's ready. It's ready to do whatever it needs to take care of. And when you put it away, fold it up. Now, this is a little bit slower process than deploying it, but this thing's got a little magnet on it. Well, I got it the wrong way. Sorry. You just take this thing right here and you fold it. Very easy. Just fold it all right here. And it stays very neatly ready for when you if you if and when you ever needed something like that. This wraps around with elastic and magnetically attaches right there. That's how you have it in your bag. And the minute you're ready for it, all you do is touch that and the um, sling deploys off of it. This thing's also got an extended charge handle that's ambidextrous on each side. So in times of distress, you don't have to sit there and figure out where your charge handle is. It's right there. It's ready. But this is my personal defense weapon. This is a 5.56 AR pistol made by Wilson Combat. And I carry it with 62 grain, 5.56 ammunition in it. And um, it's the perfect size. This thing will, there's the size of my hand. Look how small this thing is. It will fit in a backpack very easily. It'll fit in a saddlebag of a motorcycle very easily. There's, it's just, this is a size thing. Now, a lot of people put accessories on things that I don't agree with. They stick lights on the side of them and stuff like that. Well, I'm on the fence about the lights. I agree with them sometimes and sometimes I don't. Now, uh, um, a pistol instructor once told me and i really took this to heart that if you have a light on the side of your weapon and you're approached by a threat in your home or something like that 
the minute you turn that light on, he has a target to shoot for. And you know what's usually behind your light? Your head. And I've never forgotten that. And that's why I'm kind of on the fence about it. Sometimes you sort of need a light, though. But this, this thing's never going to have a light on it. That's not what this is for. This is not a battle rifle. This is an AR pistol that was meant for defense in very short, close quarters. My carry pistol is to get me to this. Once I get to this, I knew I should no longer need the carry pistol, the handgun. But that is my theory on it, and I don't have much more to say about it. That's why I have it set up. It's very simple, it's very compact, and it's very easy to operate, and it's very reliable. And that goes along with the Wilson Combat name. So... If you have any questions about why I have this set up, what I've done to it, anything like that, feel free to ask. This would be a one to ask you for because I 100% designed this and everything that I did to this was done for a reason. It meets my needs and I know there's people that will disagree with it. You have to do what works for you and this works for me. But anyway, folks, let me know if you have any questions about it. I'll answer anything you can, and you folks have a great day.